Hello guys, thank you for your interest in the Sci-Fi Radio menu product and this will be a quick overview video to show you what's included in the product and how it works. So, as you can see guys, my idea came from a very popular game, uh, Dying Light, published in 2015 when uh, hot bars were still a big thing and you know that's uh, that was a big progress back then so you can you can like select this and you know then you can use the weapon so this is this is the idea that I'm trying to replicate however with a modern inventory system nothing like this uh, cluster where you know you would be struggling in a in a bigger game with with more stuff so here we are guys back in my project where I want to showcase the basic functionality and the idea behind uh, behind this uh, sci-fi radio menu. But this is this is not part of the plugin because as you can see I had to purchase most of these assets myself and uh, I just want to showcase it uh, to you. I have divided it for myself with different uh, categories. So I have here weapons, I have throwables, I have tools and here I will have consumables and depending on the on the key that that I will press uh, like one or two or three on the on the keyboard then uh, I will be able to quickly select uh, the weapon or uh, or a tool or or a throwable so let me show you guys how how this works let's say i press one and i highlight a rifle i get a kept uh, rifle i still haven't done the animation so so it's just a screen fade at the moment but let's say that i want to highlight a grenade so so that's it i if i want a tool now now i have a hammer maybe hard to see so Let's say I want a consumable, but I haven't done anything yet to that part. Um, so let's say you want a pistol, so you just press 1. And now I have a pistol and, and you can use it. So in a single player games, it's it's very easy because, because you can either slow down the time or, or give him some ability to slow down the time during the weapon swap. However, in a multiplayer games, the weapon swap can result in a in a team kill if if you get it wrong. So I came up with this idea of how to use this modern system of uh, radial menu when for one uh, key you can assign four different items. It's, it's really hard to go backwards uh, from that. But check out. I just I just can make this this fun stuff and I can now select a priority frame. And this is this is the interesting part here that as you can see if I move the mouse cursor into the hollow part of, of the image the highlight stops or, or, or I can't select it you know here is here is my idea that that basically you will select your priority frame so in this case I would select it as a sword because if I run out from from ammunition then uh, by pressing for example a top key which which will be the quick quick swap between let's say I, I select in a throwable I will make Okay, I, I want to have with with a tap key. I I want to, let's say that I want this this grenade. When I press tap, then I will go from this this grenade to to the sword. Yeah. So so that's that's an uh, example of what can be done in a in a modern game environment or modern app environment. And I have included i have included this super cool uh widget which which really was so hard for me to do 
and I will explain uh, how it works that that you will be able to highlight only the parts where where there is actually an existing pixel in the texture so the hollow parts where where is nothing in is it's it stops the highlight so I will explain that in the in the next video let's have a look what is actually included in the plugin what you are paying your money for once you purchase it and install it you should you should get an icon like this and there will be an example level within within the plugin that if you press play you're gonna get a window like this where um, I'm just simulating yeah the the functionality this will be when you press one when you press two there will be a different different color scheme uh, I will go more in depth in the in the second video as this is just a quick showcase and here when you press five you're gonna get your uh, uh, APS widget where as you can see on only the alpha pixel if it's if it's hovered it it returns okay so that that will be the showcase what's the included or or how it was done is as you can see you have these three main classes this is this that special widget that I was talking about that that can uh, ignore the hollow parts of the texture then we have a base player controller that contains all the code and we have uh, this this uh, radio menu widgets let me show you also quickly so here we have some blueprints that's these two you can ignore that's that's just for a showcase really then then we have uh, the main class that's that's the base player controller and within here if you if you type in settings so uh, for example show mouse cursor yeah because I, I want you to see what's happening yes as you can see the cursor can be anywhere on the screen and if I move it up it will select up if I move it left it, it selects left if I move it down so it's very fast and convenient way and really I have to give a credit to come up with this idea in 2015 <laughs> And that was revolutionary, considering that up till today there are people that still have to move the mouse cursor over over the radial menu to select it. That's that's a joke, you know. I mean, once you get used to the system, there is definitely no way of of going back. And next is a demo content that's just some sounds I'm borrowing from Epic. We have some input stuff, example map, bunch of material in instances i mean really basic stuff just maybe the spinning frame that might be new to you i made some example basic materials so maybe maybe the new guys you know can kind of uh, benefit from from learning it important part here is that i have included all the static meshes if you are unhappy with the materials that i have provided and you want it to look more conservative or you want it to look a little bit more crazy than then i i went some middle route yeah so then you can easily assign your own materials to these static meshes and you will be able to create your uh, unique looking yeah so so here we have some textures i i just you know what is this 150 15 textures there and here we have we have UI so that's the important stuff we have four different uh, menus one uh, special widget and that's that's just the helper widget so now you get an idea what's included in the plugin if you are serious about the purchase please watch the following videos because you have to be capable on connecting this parts of the code to your existing inventory setup yeah that's something you will have to do on your own 